Hello, everybody. Hope you're having an amazing Saturday, April 6th, 6.30 p.m. CST, as we usually do it. Uh, pretty, pretty, both a mix of a productive and lazy day, because, like, you know, I went to the store, washed my car, did all my laundry, uh, cleaned up my room, cleaned the kitchen, all that. But then I played, like, Siege for, like, four hours, two, three hours, maybe, four hours? <laughs> That's actually a lot in hindsight, jeez. Because, yeah, I played from, like, probably one o'clock to four, maybe even, yeah, wow. Maybe in five, yeah. Um, but we're here, we're going to draw, and then the rest of tonight I'm going to be spending programming to make up for that lost time playing Siege and a lot of tomorrow. Uh, I think that's all the news today. So without any further ado, let's pop into our thing. I, I just got a random craving for boba. I don't know why. This past week, I've just been really wanting to eat out, which is not good for my bank account and probably not good for my health. <laughs> uh, I think what I may do is, oh, I had a sandwich and I ruined my dinner a tiny bit. I don't know. I still have broccoli that I need to eat. Who knows? These are my ridiculous adult problems. I set the wrong timer. There we go. Okay, anyways. <laughs> uh, let's let's get to drawing for today. Especially starting with our warm-up. Wow, I can't talk. And also, my music is a tiny bit loud. That's probably hurting me a bit when it comes to being... Uh... I don't know. Verbally... Uh, I, I can't even remember the word I'm trying to think of. Like, verbally... Cognizant. That's the word I'm looking for. Cognizant. Anyways. Conscience. Conscious. Oh, anyways. Okay, so <laughs> let's get started with the warm-up. As per usual, we're going to do a box. I want this one to be very accurate uh, and quite large, too. So those things usually don't go well together, but good starting line. Hope everyone has had a great start to their weekend. This is the time for relaxing. Or if you're a university student or anything of the sort, it's time for catching up on work. <laughs> Overshot that line right there. Good line right there. Line works solid, just a bit inaccurate. We've been having that recently. Yikes. Bit off right there. But hey, nothing's inaccurate box-wise yet, because we haven't established... Or, like, try to connect a vanishing point. We've only established two of the vanishing points, so... Ah, uh, but this line's far. This tricks a lot of people, is because it's far away. So it's gonna bend faster over here, right? It's gonna come towards us faster. But also, this one is not very convergent. It doesn't have a very... Actually, it is a bit, but... You know, not compared to, like, that. But, like, it goes down here, so it's hard to track. Get a really accurate estimate for, um where this one should land. So we're going to guess right there for now. I kind of like moving my head around. Trying to make sure. Yeah, we need to go probably about right here. Actually, I think right here was a good guess. Then of course we can't forget about this one. Just being mindful of where we want to place that. And I think we should move it up just a tiny bit. That was more than a tiny bit, but I'm going to stick with it. Cool. Ooh, really good line. Nice. Okay, let's connect it all. Here comes the hard part where you can mess up the most. That back line is a killer. It's kind of weird that Drawbox has some two of its hardest assignments, or the 250 box isn't an assignment. Um, Right after lesson one. I, I mean, yeah, it does get harder, but I feel like maybe tedious, demanding. See, this is going this way. This is pretty, pretty non convergent, so we'll do maybe this. So it keeps in line with that one. Oop, that's kind of going way too far to the right now that I look at it. That's going like that. Ridiculous. I'm going to. Yeah, I mean, this one is pretty good. And that was right here, so it's going to be right here. I'm pretty happy with that. Can you adjust my seat around, though? Whoa, not a good posture. Ok, 
Feels good. Feels good. Let's do it. Oh, wobbly right there. More of an error, or like just natural error than me using my wrist. You know, who needs strength, grip strength workouts? Just use draw box, <laughs> which is false. Uh, different muscles, but still. Dang, I was, I was really fast to shut that down. <laughs> it's false. Okay, so yeah, this one is definitely too low. We need to bring it out even more here. Okay, that's because if this line is like this and this one right there we'll do that good Yeah, not very accurate line-wise, but I think box-wise, pretty accurate. Good stuff. Let us do an organic form. It always gets pinched at the end that I'm trying to connect it to. I like it when that happens. I wanted it to be like this way and then go back, but um, my minor axis is kind of disagreeing with that. Not too complex. Um, meh, yeah. Now let's do a branch or two. Let's make it pretty thick. I want to get good practice on ellipses. Good stuff. Hmm. It's a bit of a weird one. Huh. What if I make the degree really small right here and really large right here? That means we'll, we're kind of like looking through it and it's going like right here close to us far away close so we'll do that and when i'm in big we're gonna make big actually not too big because we have the side of the paper to worry about right there This will be a very hard region to do our lines on, but we'll survive. For some odd reason, every time I start the stream, I just get really tired. I don't know why. Eyes get heavy. Mom's spaghetti and all that. Hmm. It'd be easiest to start from here, but we have some challenges here. Try to be as accurate as possible.
Oof, we always have that sharp turn, it makes me upset. Let's try to correct it. Oh, cool. Okay, not the best in the world, but I think it was okay. Um, yeah, I mean, good warm up, and we hit the ten minute mark, so I say we get we call that. I mean, great job right there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna take a quick water break. Uh, I didn't fill up my water before stream, but we'll survive. Also, I'm gonna there we go. Get slightly brighter. <laughs> it's very cloudy outside today. Um, I see a little bit of sun poking through the uh, or sky poking through the clouds. Uh, like I said last time, I really wanted a day where I could just stare at the sunset and uh, have a good drink or something. Maybe I could do that tomorrow. And drink isn't like probably boba. I'm really wanting boba right now. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna... Oh my goodness, wow. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take a quick break for water and then get into the main assignment of today. Oh, man. The new sparkling water I got tastes like soap. Did I buy soap? No, okay. Just making sure. Anyways, uh, back to it. So today, we will be drawing. And since chat is just so active, we'll have to cover it all up. Um, <laughs> we'll be drawing these. These beautiful flowers. Specifically, this. Uh, this is like the best image I could find of this that has everything that I'd want to draw. I like to challenge myself a tiny bit. Uh, we will not be texturing this one, or I don't think we will. Uh, this is a Virginia native bluebell. Uh, yeah, bluebell, right? I just realized that's the ice cream name. Like, I didn't even think of it when I first... Bluebell. Wait, okay. Native Virginia bluebell. Yep, native Virginia bluebell. Uh, or just Virginia bluebell, I think. Yeah, Virginia bluebell. Um, there's tons of different types of bluebells out there. Uh, there's native bluebells, which uh, are in these, like, kind of cool spindly... Uh, vines, I guess you could say. They're vine-like. Um, you have Spanish bluebells, which are more on a stalk. And then this, which is more... It has like a bud, you know, where all of them come out at the top instead of up the stalk of the uh, plant. So, uh, very fun stuff. Very pretty. And of course, it's purple. One of my favorite colors, if not my favorite color. Um, and yeah, so let's get our hour timer set and get started. In fact, I'm somewhat tempted. Let's bring this over to paint. Um, and just get a general feel, general feel, uh, for the shapes. This one isn't too complex, but I think it'll be a healthy challenge. Uh, so, while that loads in, I guess, I don't know what's going on right there, we'll... Cool, that's all set up. How's this looking? Cool. Nice. Uh, okay, hopefully you guys can see that. Yep, that looks good, Kurt. Okay, so, we'll count this as part of the timer, because I feel like we'll complete it a bit early today, so... Uh, a bit more time wouldn't be, or a bit less time wouldn't be <laughs> the end of the world. Look at us cheating. So lazy. No. Okay, uh, so looking at this, will red show up? Oh my gosh, yeah, this image is absolutely huge, by the way. Got it off of, like, Wikipedia or something, so. I'm just gonna try to get a, maybe a tiny bit less. Cool, okay, and maybe a tiny bit more opacity. There, okay, cool. So, ultimately, uh, what we have is we have the main stem, which we're going to say ends right here and goes all the way down. Uh, we have uh, uh, the stem goes out into these little shoots, which we can do. Uh, and it kind of ends right here, I'm going to say, for now. So yeah, the stem goes into these shoots. 
that. I have one right here, one right here. Like that, very nice. Um, and then I think what we're gonna do for these is other than just uh, doing our usual branch method uh, for these, um, you know, branches, I guess, <laughs> we're gonna have a large degree cylinder here. And I guess we'll just have to do it the mushroom method of not really like having um, a line of action to work with, even though I really want to. And this will kind of be our own branch. We'll go like this. Yeah. Make that a bit smaller. And then we can apply um, our methods to make it actually wavy and stuff like that and pretty. But yeah. Um, so yeah, just like little weird tapered cylinders for all of these. Uh, another example is this wide degree right here, another degree right here, and then a large a degree and ellipse uh, right here. And that's kind of just covering up that one. So all we're going to get is this. Uh, same thing over here. We're going to have this, this, and then large ellipse. Then we're going to connect them. Such. Yeah, they, these really just go for the tangents as like far as possible. Uh, between those two so we have those and I think yeah general and then we can like make the pods shoot out of that the little seeds or whatever it's called the pollen I guess I don't know not a planologist oh look oh wow look how symmetrical that is that's nice so something like that uh yeah same thing over here one more time just for funsies because it's kind of fun to do this there we go If, you, if you're getting lost ever on doing ellipses and like marking this up right, um, just don't think about underneath, start with the surface and what's happening on it. And then as you'll see, it'll just kind of form itself into what you want. Uh, and that's supposed to be a bit higher. So we'll just actually just get rid of that. So yeah, follow the surface and it kind of gives you it. And then we just do the taper. Cool, so for these, we're going to have uh, the end of our branch, because the branch kind of ends like this. And then we're going to have other branches. But let's just focus on one right now. Uh, we'll have this branch, which is also going to have maybe contours. We have to draw this pretty big if we want that much detail. Cylinder here, cylinder here. And then a cylinder inside. That would maybe be over-constructing it. Cylinder right here cylinder right here that's the thing if i want to connect these two things which i think they should be it need we need a cylinder in there that kind of jumps out like that um and this has a rounded top to it too yeah something like that uh yeah so it would have a branch cylinder 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 inside cylinder, cylinder outside goes in like that over cool uh for the main branch nothing crazy uh we can do the leaves uh this one very classic leaf can't go wrong one of our little infinity leaves right here that i like to call them. uh kind of just get this shape from it like so and yeah there's more of a looks like a gaming mice it mouses it, there's more of a dip right there that we should emphasize and we have some other leaves coming from it nothing too crazy uh and we can make all of these probably come off from the central node like that you can get really crazy uh, line wise in the center but hey we're constructing it that's the cost of construction right actually i feel like this kind of goes out like that and then this one we probably won't draw but yeah that would have you know that looks so cool and then yeah we can do our typical leaf constructions on these nothing new there oh i did that all in one line too well We'll leave that there. <laughs> Wait, what the heck? Oh, that's, yeah, I thought that was like a mistake, but no, it's the, uh, 
That's the line over there. I thought it like teleported my mouse, like whenever drawing programs do that from time to time. Cool. Oh man, I'm tired. Woo! <laughs> Maybe we could call it early. I got no sleep last night. I don't know why. I just kept waking up over and over again. I think it's because I naturally wake up at seven uh, and I stayed up till like one. So my brain was like, oh, it's time to wake up. You're going to miss class, which in reality, that is a false sentiment. Right here, uh, we can do what we did with the um, potato plant is we don't need to do a crazy construction. Uh, we could just do that. Yeah, and as much as I'd like to make these lines go all the way to the top and then we do, I mean, we could, that could actually help construction. We have room on the page. Why not? Okay, so uh, we're going to travel back here. And yeah, our construction is kind of gone. Uh, I don't really want to reference it. I just want to be like, okay, this is how it looks. Um, now we get to the fun game of proportions. I cannot stop going. Oh my gosh. I don't know. What's up? Maybe I'm a bit too tired to stream today, guys. I'm trying to get some streams in because uh, next weekend I will not be able to stream as much. So I wanted to kind of balance it out. Anyways, so I'm here with my trusty ruler. I'm just going to hit my screen with it a bunch uh, and see. How, so the entire stock, I'll say from where we cut it off in the thing is about ooh, weird number 13. So we'll cut it down to 12 centimeters. So that'll kind of be our base unit, even though one centimeter is our base unit, just you know, keeping that in mind. Um, page wise. All of these seem to be from two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, two centimeters, two centimeters. Yeah, so all of the flowers are two and a half to two centimeters. The larger ones, which are, let me get over here, uh, this one and this one, these are two and a half. Actually, all three of these are uh, two, two centimeters. So that is a sixth of the stock, just for reference. Uh, leave wise, I'm going to guess those are six centimeters. Perfect. Oh, six and a half. Dang it. Uh, that the smaller one that my mouse is on. Uh, the others seem to be about eight to nine uh, from kind of like the base of the stock. That one's 10. The one in the very back is almost the entire 14 uh, and the one right here. Um, so to ground ourselves, I guess we'll start just with the flowers and then we'll do the leaves because those aren't like the most important part. Um, yeah, so uh, the line is kind of whatever we define it to be and the top of the line We'll need, let's see, so if we did just the bottom of the stock that we can see, that's only about eight centimeters, conservatively, conservatively, about an eight and a half. And then um, from like where the bottom flower starts to the top of all of them is about six and a half. Uh, so it's a three to four ratio, again. Why am I so tired? I have no idea what's going on. Okay, we're gonna take a sip of water, try to wake myself up, uh, and then we're gonna get back to it. Why am I so tired? It is almost like debilitating. Oh yeah, we need a new piece of paper. Yeah, and unfortunately we... Oh, jeez, hit my mic. We probably will not be texturing this one. Uh, I'm okay with that for this one. There's not much to texture other than the leaves. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. Doing some of the cool cast shadows on the bells, but that's about it. Uh, so, this is pretty linear, all things considered. Uh, and then from there, we kind of have all of them popping out of that. Uh, I want this to be big. I want this to take up a lot of the page. So um, if the entire thing on my screen is about from bottom to the, like that very top leaf, 15 plus practically five, so 20 centimeters, the stock visibly is eight and a half. That is six and a half. So we're saying it's a three to four ratio. Um, and the thing is practically a little over two times the stocks amount. Some weird proportions. I just want to fit as much as I can in the page. Uh, so let's see if we do this from right here, because there's not much going on on the bottom. So we can get, actually get pretty close to the bottom of the page. If we go half the page here. Oh, yeah, we could use the size of the page to help us out here, too. So a little under half of the page, and I think we'll be good for the stock. And it kind of goes to the left a tiny bit. Just the tiniest bit. Almost, I think human error could just replicate that and we'd be fine. 
yeah, no more than half the page, so about right here. Ooh, got a bit close, but I think that's fine. Very nice. All starts with one line. Journey of a Thousand Steps begins with one. Uh, so, I think I'm just going to have boba for dinner. I've decided. I do need a lot more protein, though. Maybe I'll have... I brought strawberry... Oh my gosh, I brought... S bought. Bought, bought, bought. Bought strawberries, blueberries, because, like, it's spring now. Um, that I wanted to start putting in my morning, like protein bowl that I make like it's just yogurt bowl right uh and I got new yogurt and I have granola oh my gosh I'm gonna have that and boba tea it's gonna be so weird tonight very sugary but hey um oh, I do have chicken I have to eat though but I'm not that hungry Urgh. uh I'll eat the chicken I just won't have the rice I, I literally eat chicken broccoli and rice every night I know whatever uh <laughs> so these are gonna be only about this tall only a fraction of that uh, lengthwise the the one we're looking at mainly goes up and then over maybe only the tiniest bit to the right towards us um yeah and it goes down practically because yeah that entire thing is probably four and a half centimeters um so about half of this tall there's only a tiny bit to the right Okay, I'll take it. It looks like it's curving inwards a bit, so we can try to fix that, but it was a bit of a mistake on my part. Um, and then we have one right next to it, which we will try to do that, and it goes straight to the right. And there's a whole bundle coming from that, so we'll do the top one, actually, uh, which comes from this one, and just kind of goes to the right. Kind of like that, nothing, nothing too crazy. trying to use the silhouettes like the area between them the negative space i think it's called to gauge where it should go okay i think that'll work and then we have that one kind of coming in between here Uh oh, we'll try to repair that. There we go. Cool. And then what do we have going to the right? We have that really long one, which is about three in length, maybe conservatively a bit four. Actually, no, we have the tiny one, which is two, so barely half this going to the right. Um, and it starts about right here, because if we have this main node right here, this. So it's going to start about right here and it's going to go off and just a bit like this. Like that. Uh, and then we have little nodes branching off that, which we'll worry about right now, actually. Because this starts getting really long. It goes like this. This one comes out over here. And we have one underneath. And then we have that one in the background, which we're going to just leave. Kind of like the flower down here. Um, cool. Uh, we have those. So that, that one's going to end up right here. This one's going to end up right there. This one's going to end up right here. This one's going to end up underneath. This one needs to be pretty low because these need to be next to each other. But I think that's good for now. So we're going to get to the stem. The dangerous part, but we'll do our best. For the stem... Um, let's do the mouse trick. Let's see. Oh, where's my mouse? There it is. Okay, so, uh, I say probably like this. Because, yeah, this degree is getting pretty round down here. I'd say that's flattest right here, so. Like, I'm trying to, like, if I drag my mouse across like this, it doesn't feel right. But if I do it a tiny bit, very low degree. 
and our drawing stops practically maybe about right here of the stem um oh yeah i'd say probably right here so if our stem starts stops right here then there's gonna be this one that means this one has to land right here ish this one has to land right here ish so yeah that actually works out quite well okay um and lengthwise that's about three-fourths of a centimeter so if we're gonna divide this into ones so one because like half 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 this should be one yeah ish and then only a tiny bit of that so we're not really looking at real thick here and degree before we get into all that um we'll say the degree is flattest right here so we're going to do a really small degree one Ah, oh, geez. The smaller ones always kill me. It's a bit wide for my liking, so we're going to try to get smaller. Secretly. Very, very quietly. Because, <laughs> yeah, that means this one has to... Yeah, okay. So, we have to just remember to make these ellipses large. Not be scared of that up here. Cool. Then we're just going to make the degree pretty large until we get down here, and it's going to be about... That was very large. Oh, sheesh. Okay. See, that's more of like what I wanted. I don't like how small how that one looks, but it's okay. Uh, then this has to be really small. So we're going to start in here. We're going to get probably... I mean, we have to be very small. This is a very, like... And then degree is going to get larger up here, so we'll have... No, I'm actually going to start right here. This one we're seeing a lot of, so it's going to be like this. And then in. And this one we're... Over here we're seeing a lot of that side of it. I'm making that one a tiny bit bigger because it does get like larger. This one very small. Right here, it gets actually pretty large as well. Of that sort. If I don't like this, we're going to redo it. I'm going to try to cut on the inside of them to make it smaller, appear smaller. Nice. Bit chicken scratchy, but it'll be okay for now. Let's do these for funsies. Uh, so right here we're seeing not a crazy high degree. Um, something like that. Then we'll worry about these in a bit. Actually, we'll do it right now. <laughs> Keep saying that, right? This one, it's over to the left a lot more than we gave it. Like that. This one is way too close, but it's whatever. Uh, over here, same deal. Yeah, we don't need that many, like I said. And then this one, smaller degree. Cool. For the nodes and joints, I'm just going to leave them kind of empty. And 
And this is going to go in front, kind of. So these connect right here. Something like that. Oh. I say we redo this. <laughs> For the pure reason of this is too big compared to that. Um, and I'm not happy with my line work so far. Hey, what's good, Pilgrim? Long time no see indeed. Hope all is well. One of the OGs on the channel. Glad to see you back. We're working on plants right now. In fact, we are redoing a plant as uh, as we speak. <laughs> um, yeah, hope all is well. Glad to see you here on this. I mean, it's kind of, for me, not too beautiful Sunday evening, but I uh, hope it is for you. Uh, we're going to do a red pin correction of what we just worked on right here. Actually, we're going to just try to do one of the bells right here. Um, so yeah, this degree should have been a lot higher. And then it has the, like leaf note of that she goes like this kind of and then it has the actual bell part of it which we can't do with our wrist we're gonna have to of that sort and then we connect it like this oh wait no we should have done the larger inner kind of method the very complicated uh like this oh yeah because it's kind of going we have this which is the end of that one and the beginning of this larger one which can be condensed into kind of one instead of worrying about that um and then that ends right here. Then on the inside, we have the one. That kind of goes like, so this part, which has the flowers on it. And then. Cool, cool. So yeah, this is the kind of like the. I should have done them like this to make it a bit more noticeable and probably larger of those. And then in here we'll have our beautiful Maybe we could have done that. And that would have been probably up here. Maybe right there. Okay. Hmm. Let's do a deeper study of one of these. I'm gonna try to get the one from the picture. So we practically have this coming towards us. This. And then it gets a bit larger. And we have that. We have our
Finally catch you streaming. How are you doing? I'm doing quite well. I hope all the same to you. Yeah, no, I changed up my screen stream schedule a bit. I hope that doesn't totally impact when you can and can't join. If so, let me know what time works for you in time zone and all that, because uh, I'd be happy to try to adjust, because um, I also have my schedule and the schedules of some others to keep in mind. But I'm totally okay with changing things up. It makes it easier for people to find some time to get stuff that they want to do done. That was a really weird way of phrasing it. Uh, let's see, this, it has kind of like these pseudo petals. It has like these folds. One, two, three, four ish. That fifth, that four one kind of turns into five. Um, and then we also have this inner area. Still drawing, good to hear. Yeah, these kind of fall and bend into it. We have kind of this one. This one. This one. Cool. This one's kind of weird. It goes in. That goes back there. This one kind of goes over. And has this weird jump right there. These both go in. go kind of like that i feel like we're kind of failing in this regard though because we're not properly understanding the form like we're just kind of drawing this 2d representation of what's happening but not uh not totally getting what we need to i guess if that makes sense Cause yeah, there's not much depth to this. And then we'd do the, um. Hmm. Let's take a closer look and paint and see what's going on. Uh, yeah. Okay. So clear all this up let's take a really good look yeah this is a very very high quality image so it makes it easier to look into everything so yeah we have our and it's a lower degree so let's give it that we've been drawing really circular stuff so we could write over here it's a lower oh. how to change my font size real quick Oh, lower degree. Um, we have that inner part in here. I'm going to leave that alone for now. We have this, which goes over, kind of. And just very, yeah, very small. Like, less than a half of that diameter. Um, we have these. Oh, and then, yeah, you don't really see it because of the flowers. So what gives this its depth? missing something I guess maybe this back to it but still that wouldn't and you do have like these lines that kind of say hey you know there's an interior mm. 
Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe if we tackle one of the others, we can get a bigger idea of what's going on here. So let's go for this one. This one's pretty direct. So we have this ellipse. This ellipse. Which is actually quite larger than that. Keep it simple for now and just say that's how it's estimated. Oh. So yeah, this looks a bit better. Yeah, it just feels hollow over here. How's that look? Yeah, I think we're worrying too much about these like wiggly parts that we aren't considering just the actual form, like the lowest of the lowest of abstraction of this, I guess you could say. So like, um, we have this, right? We know that's there. Doing the surface technique kind of help inform that shape. And yeah, while this would be right, right? Let's go in here. Okay, so we have that going. Thinking through it, you know? And plus, I'm just absurdly tired. Only 25 minutes left? Oh my gosh. Today flew. Well, I'm kind of happy because I am very tired. <laughs> but we're going to do, do our best going through the next part of this. Um, hmm. So we have this. Now what we could do is there are... I'm going to hide this one. We'll come back to that one. Um, there are these. And we're going to go with a smaller... Uh, darker. Yeah, we'll do blue. Actually, blue is probably a bad color. Pink. Love pink. This. We have these. From those, I'm going to do something a bit crazy here. We're going to turn this back off. And from this, now that we know this, where these dip, and we have this one that goes out, we can go and uh, let's do a green. I don't know. A out, wobble, in, like this. So, so out, and it could be a pretty like this. And we want to go wide and out and then more to the side and then because we're going in right here. Cool. And then picking it up again. And this one's going to kind of bend away from us too. So it's going to look pretty round like this. 
Maybe a bit of a dip in there. And then in. Let's try that one more time with that side in mind. So we're going to go out, in, then dip. Same thing here. Out, away, dip, out, dip. This one we're going to see a bit more of that curl. Like this almost. See, this looks a lot better. Um, wow, this looks definitely a lot better. Um, and this can all come from that center line. Which would probably be in our pink type beat. So it would be... Was this the pink? Okay, no, it was in the same layer, so... Tried avoiding the green there, but yeah, something like this. Um, yeah, let's see how much this matches up to the actual thing. Not at all, but I don't think that's the issue, because this looks very convincing. Um, so yeah, basically... Ooh, okay, we're big brain tonight. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to name this the... Uh, I don't know. Uh... What are these called? We're gonna call this the Bluebell Construction. Yeah, I, yeah, just that. Construction. Cool. This is all with the mouse, by the way, so please forgive me. <laughs> also, the music I've been listening to is just, what the heck is going on? Craziness. Hopefully I didn't mess up. Yeah, it did. Okay. Shout out to, uh, what is it? Blue... Blue Turtle. Shout out Blue Turtle. So, uh, we're going to start with so many layers. Yeah, we're going to start with so many layers. Uh, we're going to start with our chunky kind of base. Uh, so we're going to draw it kind of going whatever which way we're gonna have our pink uh pink size eight was it no what size were you oh you were very small four yeah okay uh so we're gonna have our pink so we're gonna have it kind of going towards us just like this i'm gonna have it go this 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 like that this is completely off the top of my head i'm trying to test our construction theory, right? Um, and so with this, this major, major line, right? Uh, we're going to start with the... Uh, let's drop this to 80. And I'll say the blue... The bell can start... The bells are quite long, long, so they can start around here. Let's bump that up to 120. And drop this to 6. So yeah. Do this. Get pretty visible right here. Something like that. Tiny bit larger. Like that. And then over here, we had our this, yeah, so the node starts, so it gets larger right here. Like that. And we have basically a couple until we get about over here, so. And then our largest one right here. So I just kind of wanted to taper like that. So these are going to go back. My pinky is putting in the work right now. I kind of want to go like into this. There we go. And then the rest are going to kind of be... Remember the rule, we don't want to leave our branches uncapped at the end. So that.
or something like that. Um, and we have to remember that uh, th it's kind of facing this way because of our degree. But I did make it kind of go out like that. But anyways, um, so yeah, we have our bell. Oh, that was m the major bell construction. So we can end it off. Oh, we should have probably started from the bottom and gone to the top. But now we're here, so. Um, God, what a nerd. <laughs> um, I guess we'll go about right here. Just it's all aiming away from us. Whatever. We'll still stick to the construction, right? So now we do this. Why am I not doing this on paper? Whatever. Uh, so we're going to go kind of like this. Like that. Uh, and now from the center, we're going to have little things that pop out. Uh, so we're going to say that's about right here, right? And we're going to say it goes like this. It follows the taper of the edge. Like that, and then goes in like so. That's one of them. Here's our next one. We have five, right? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. And they definitely hang out like that. Yeah, they'd hang out. Cool. Um, so this one. Something like that. And then we take our green and we connect these. So this is going to go out and away, do a dip. We're going to make it really kind of jump out from that one and then go that and then, and then that one. This one's going to go out, way, out, away. This one I don't want to do. It's kind of curling out. I don't want to go too out with it. Cool. And then from here, what we can do, is we can kind of do this. There we go. I think, I think we may, oh, digital cavil stream. <laughs> Unfortunately not. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> that's, it's pretty close. Literally seconds ago, Delano, I asked myself, I'm like, why am I not on paper? <laughs> but yeah, no, uh, I'm pretty happy without this. So yeah, we're um, trying to deconstruct. Let's go over to the camera here. Um, that's the wrong thing, but kind of works. Uh, wait, what am I doing? I could just, here, right. We go here um this a bluebell a virginia bluebell to be exact and i've had a lot of issues drawing it um just i initially only had the red and i was like okay this isn't working out let's try to figure it out and so i did these i just traced these purple ones along like these invisible ridges that don't technically exist and i found that really helps me and then closing my eyes like or closing my eyes turning this off i made these green ones i was like oh this really works um so I decided to go over here and just completely do it off the top of my head, and it turned out really well. Um, so I think, like, the steps to success here, I don't really like that word because I had a professor that used that, and he was really annoying. Um, but basically, steps to success here is, uh, one, we want to start with the red. 
and the red is going to be the general outline of kind of actually no we don't even want that we want the just major line so line of action ah, action like that line of action Whew. um gross noises geez um and then from the line of action i'm going to do the red what the red gives us oof trying to be somewhat legible for you guys but writing fast with a pen sucks or hands mouse yep that's what i'm using a mouse uh mouse kind of sucks uh but for the red we want to define the stem and overall just the bell body from there we do the purple or pink i like purple more though so we're gonna call that purple um, and the purple defines the ridges. We're getting a bit messier because I'm going a bit faster. <laughs> We're running out of time. Um, and cool. So from the ridges, we finally do the green. And this is actually just like the form. But more generally, or more specifically, it is the uh, petals. And just like final lines, I guess. Like this is kind of like the non -con just constructed. This is what's actually happening. Uh, and then from there, we can add our little um, this type beep. That wasn't supposed to happen. It's supposed to go like this. There we go. And I think that looks really good. Uh, it has a bit of a weird style to it. This looks like a little alien thing. I don't know. Just get like him there. I don't know. <laughs> kind of looks. <laughs> That's almost kind of creepy. Oh wait. Yeah, that. <laughs> I like this little guy. I don't know what to name him, but he's a little guy. I like a Pikmin. Anyways, uh, so yeah, we only have ten minutes left. Uh... Wow, I can't believe how fast the time literally just like teleported right there. Uh, so we're going to try again uh, on the paper just to get like a slightly better, um, what is it called? Stem, because yeah, I don't like how we did our first one. It looks really choppy too. So we're going to be slow on the stem, and if we don't get to anything else, we don't get to anything else. I'm really happy with discovering uh, this construction. So I'm actually going to save this to my desktop. I'm just going to name it bell.png or pdn, whatever it is. Uh, oh, oops. Uh, yeah, so, uh, oh, you're not Delano, you're Rise. I'm so sorry, dude. I, I'm tripping. I need sleep bad. Um, but yeah, so, geez, yeah, I'm sorry. Get my mods confused. I need to pay him less, I guess. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, yeah, so that's the thing is I had a real struggle here trying to figure out what I needed to do. Originally, I was only doing the outline and I was like, this isn't working. This isn't a positive way of doing this. Um, and then, yeah, I, I, trust me, like, I don't think there's anything barring you against doing the construction as an outline and then going there, but I think it's in bad taste of what you're trying to learn here because you're learning observation uh, and construction. And so I usually hide the constructions afterwards. I just want a path to follow, right? Because um, like once you learn how to construct a human, you can learn how to construct a human. Same thing with a plant. Some plants just require a tiny bit extra analysis. So this is my analysis step of it. Um, yeah, so... With all that seeming, seemingly coping, but I actually, you know, I, I, I'll stand by it. Uh, let's just mess around for the next eight minutes and do a couple of these. Because, uh, yeah, we won't really need to care about the stem. Uh, so I want this one to kind of like rotate towards us. Actually, that's a bit crazy, isn't it? Because we want these to feel like they have gravity. So I'm going to ha have this one kind of just this small line. But it's because it's just coming towards us. 
or let's see if we start we could start with the thing and i just want it to be a bit like right here yikes that was bad okay we need to actually ghost <laughs> What am I doing? Whoa, 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 whoa. Cav? Let's calm down. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Why am I holding my pin all weird? I'm like going like this. What? Here we go. Okay. What, what was I doing? Oh, it's because I wanted the ellipse to be like on a different side like this. But I forgot I could just rotate my paper. Nice, okay. So we want it to kind of appear like that, which means the lower one, it's going to kind of, I want the bell to kind of go like this. We'll go with that line. Something like this. And then... What I want to happen here is this is going to... Hit that, and this is going to come out of it like this. Of the sort. And then from here I want these. Something like that. Um, yeah, this is a bit thick. That's okay. Uh, and then from here, we're going to pick our center. Little node. Maybe right here. And then these are going to follow the taper of the asset. Yeah, because originally I did them all the way out here. Um, I don't think they need to start there. In fact, I think this needs to be more... Like, instantly tube like and then longer over here uh and then from that we're gonna go follow this and then hang out of it so kind of follow the edge hit that we don't get too curly with them that's both my poor drawing skill and it just, I like it, so. And yeah, these weren't totally aligned. We're missing one on that far edge. So something like that. There's only usually five, but I doubled up here to make for lost ones. And then from here, we kind of do our out this. Out. Should have ghosted, oh. Yep, should have ghosted for that one. And these are just so far apart as well. And those shouldn't be as bumpy because we're seeing the edge of it. So it'd be like that one. Oopsies. Yeah, so this was very square, like it wasn't very round. Uh, but we're getting the general idea. So I'm actually going to call the stream early because I'm very tired. Uh, but we learned a lot today. It's kind of, it reminds me of my lesson two streams where um, sometimes not quantitatively a lot of work was done um but quantitatively qualitatively oh my gosh i need sleep guys i'm actually going to focus on that tonight i usually like on the weekends pressure myself to get a lot of work done we're sleeping tonight um <laughs> so yeah uh delano review session of the day uh solid warm-up you know uh, nothing too crazy got a bit bumpy wiggly over here but as you know that's just a practice thing we need to do it more uh, we'll get better at it 
Uh, box was okay, just line work wise, once again. Maybe we need a line arc, who knows. Uh, then over here, we did our first attempt at it, and I really didn't like it. First off, because we didn't know how to approach this, and also my lines were really choppy. Uh, scale wise, I think we're okay, just um, I think we need less stem, less of this bottom stem, and to enlarge this. So give this more of the page, less of that, and for the leaves, if we have to chop them off, we will. Um, or just modify them to fit in the page. I think that wouldn't be the end of the world because our, our target, our focus, um, are the bells. So in fact, really emphasize the bells next time. Uh, we could cut off the lower like eighth of the image and just start at that leaf and I think it would be okay. Uh, and yeah, and so uh, I could, I'm not going to show the paint thing that we did. Uh, but yeah, so with that being said, thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. Thank you, Rise, who I accidentally called Delano. Uh, and thank you, Pilgrim, for coming back. I'm so glad to see you here again. And I'm so glad to hear that you're still drawing. Um, and well, I just realized my chat, I didn't even think about this. My chat is purple and orange. It's not supposed to be set that way, but it works out quite well. Uh, so yeah. Oh, Delano, wait, wait, wait. Oh, hi, Delano. Jeez. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, wow. Surprise Delano visit. Uh, so yeah. Oh, you didn't miss it. I do apologize. Um, today was also just a bit shorter because I'm very, very tired. Uh, uh, and yeah, I say I'm tired and I'm gonna go get a tons of caffeine and code into the night. Um, what a nerd, guys. Anyways, hope you're having a, uh, hope you've had a good one and I hope you have a good one. Uh, I think we're gonna plan on streaming practically every day, uh, until next, probably Friday. I have to head home again. Um, so schedule is going to be tentative around next Thursday. Uh, but hopefully, unless I want to take a break, which I may, uh, we're going to be streaming every day. So thank you guys so much for joining. Uh, sorry, I cut you guys kind of off or like the time may be weird. Uh, and yeah, I'm always so bad at ending these things. I just say, uh, ums and restate myself a hundred times. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys, uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Bye for now. <laughs>